Hello everyone and welcome into the Beckley studio of Indiana University. I'm Eddie Cotton and this ain't no intro, this the entree. I'm here to give you an update on everything that happened in IU Athletics this week, but honestly, they probably should have got someone better. Somebody get Katie Couric in here. Oh, she busy? Whatever. Thirsty, thirsty, trying to choose. I mean, I know I'm pretty cool. Let's have some fun with this. Make sure there ain't one gosh darn part you can't tweet. I'll try to make you love it, get it trending more, and then I'll act humble. So let's get started with Hoosier Hysteria from this past weekend. Booyaka, buckle up. Now we open with team introductions where preseason Big Ten forward Amanda Cahill tells us all to shut up, start dancing as she shake that Laffy Taffy. Later joined by Tyra Buss, dancing with the devil with two left feet. Senior Freddie McSwain came out to his favorite song and ah, uh, he just having fun with it. Followed by Clifton Moore, the freshman, so young his mama still washes clothes. And then don't believe in the king, believe in the kingdom of Archie Miller. He knows we've got so much history, baby, but this is his part. Nobody else speaks. The ultimate goal here at Indiana, which is to try our best to knock on that door, to find a way to get the sixth banner hanging up there. Darn, I need a minute. I right, Lego. Archie spoke of promised lands as the Hoosiers moved on to their three-point shooting competition, and Josh Newkirk and Allie Patberg were feeling it from three as those wide-eyed kids being kids took home the win, and I hope you happy, I hope you happy. From there, Curtis Jones just had a growth spurt. It done took so long, his tippy toes hurt, but trust me, that's only beginning. Behold magnificent. Freddie McSwain was jumping like checkers, clever like chess, but the judges just said, just said, Nah, 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 nah. But in the final round of the dunk contest, Curtis Jones made sure to bring out his entire fam, bringing out Deron Davis and Devontae Green. And let me just tell you, he was even better than he was the last time, baby. Okie dokie Alki as he rises up for that one over Deron Davis. Replay the replays. The people's champ must be everything the people can't be as he wins the slam dunk comp. From there, we move on to the scrimmage where the teams split up for a red and white matchup and Devontae Green tries to find Freddie McSwain on an alley-oop early. After that, Robert Johnson lets you know he never practiced, he only performed, cutting the lead to 7-2. After that, Devontae Green finds Clifton Moore so open it seems like blessings keep falling in his lap. From there, later in the first half, Johnny Jager, feeling like James early, find Deron Davis for a juke and a jam. Robert Johnson that holds the pose so long, I just make, make me some Earl T. Devontae Green responds, however, with reading glasses on and getting shook, knocking down a three to make it a 16-8 lead. After that, 19-10, Zach McRoberts calls you a lame, and then he gets the steal and feeds Race Thompson, who got the juice to lay one in. From there, though, 27-12, the white team needed to respond. They look to Deron Davis, who becomes a force to be reconciled. Come on, big fella. Down low, he's eating, making moves, getting the white team back into the game. But looking to respond on his own, Cujo lets you know, you don't want no problem with me. And then VJ Blackman here in the second half with a transition steal. And then Coco Butter kisses it into the, the hoop. From there, Robert Johnson, twerk, merge, swerve, dang, pick a lane, in the key with a lay-in. And then Danny Green says, better watch out for my brother as Devante Green seals the game for the red team. So with Hoosier Hysteria done, I'm done, right? I can kick my feet on the ottoman? Wrong as we send it to East Lansing as Indiana took on Michigan State. And don't forget Tom Allen, a man, make you remember how to smile good. Early on, it was Indiana's defense as Chris Covington makes a tackle in the backfield. And then Jonathan Crawford, a whoop to bam shows you he's the blueprint to a real man with a huge fumble recovery leading to a field goal. Crawford again with a sack as he doesn't talk to the serpent. And Mark D'Antonio showing you he looks like he won the lottery and lost his ticket. Moving to the second half, only 3-3. Jay Sean Harris making a sweet grab. Show him love when he pop out. Show him love when he pop out. After that, Morgan Ellison makes a catch in the fourth quarter on a pivotal drive with Indiana up 6-3. A grab sweeter than Sunday candy. Now up 9-3 after another field goal. Michigan State driving back a Lewerke touchdown pass in the fourth quarter. Gives Michigan State the lead. Indiana looking like a shadow 
of what it once was. And then with a minute 55 left to go, LJ Scott prayed and prayed, and now he see the finish line. Took the team up off his back like that's not your jersey as Michigan State pulls out the 17-9 victory. Tom Allen, all you need is happy thoughts as we move to Bloomington and Jerry Yeagley Field. This past weekend, the number one team in the nation, Indiana Hoosiers, took on Wisconsin. And early on in the second minute, freshman phenom Griffin Dorsey gets a long ball, heads it off the keeper, and then finds the back of the net. The freshman who used to kill him with the long hair now rocking the buzz cut with that early goal for Indiana. And that would be a sign of things to come for the Hoosiers. Moving on, Mason Toy gets taken down. And that's only legal with a doctor's note right on the edge of the box in the 20th minute. He takes a free kick that goes just short, but that's something to take note of. I feel your pain, though, however, Mason Toy, as you get taken down much later in this matchup in the 40th minute. And you don't want no problem, want no problem with Mason Toy, as Wisconsin will find to learn. From there, Wisconsin tries to build on the attack, get more opportunities, and here's a major chance that they had in the early on in the second half. I got L's on my record, as that's a wide open opportunity, just could not get a foot on it. But of course, Wisconsin pushing on and on against this great Indiana defense, that Looks like Kool-Aid in a wine glass. That's clearly a foul. Something wrong there. And then off that free kick, multiple bodies getting into the box, giving it a chance, giving it a try. But this Indiana defense so strong, they don't give nothing away. Nothing, nothing at all away. It's Trey Muse, one of the best goalkeepers in the country, makes the save. But from there, in the 76th minute, don't tweak, bro. It's never sweet we see something a little different. After 966 shutout minutes, Wisconsin finds the back of the net and the Hoosiers find themselves in a place that they have not been all year as it was tied 1-1 with the rest of the game to go. Indiana, of course, looking to try and win the Big Ten, needs to get back on the board and we move forward to extra time where Mason Toy returns back into the game after being injured and he surely provides his influence getting fouled in a similar place to where he was fouled in the first half and setting up what could be the biggest set piece of the season from just outside the box he curls one in the back of the back of the net please show me love because i love it as he finds a way millie rockin scooping all the blessings out my lap as mason toy looks around he got angels all around him they keep him surrounded as Indiana takes home the victory in extra time.